Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns. Welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. And I'm here in Times Square in the middle of Manhattan because this is where the new year begins. And it's going to be a very exciting new year with a lot of planetary action. And here's what that'll mean for you. Mercury begins the year retrograde till January 8th and has three more retrograde periods in 2017. Scorpio, Mercury begins the year retrograde in your second house until January 8th, suggesting cash flow glitches. So check your bank balance and expenses carefully. He retrogrades back into your sixth house from April 9th through May 3rd. And this warns you to pay attention to details at work. You'll be more productive and efficient. From August 12th through September 5th, he retrogrades in the 11th house, bringing a need for common sense in group situations. Don't just blindly follow the crowd. Lead with wisdom. His final retrograde is from December 3rd through 22nd. Now, this is in your second house just before the holidays. So he warns you to be careful with budgets and investments. Check your bank balance. Venus, the planet of love, and Mars, the planet of desire, transits for 2017. Scorpio, Venus smiles on you from January 4th through February 4th when someone you know may become more than just a friend. You might want to open your heart. From August 1st through the 26th, she brings a chance for adventure as you head for the beach and leave your fears behind. Now, she lights up your personal passion from November 8th through December 1st, when she brings opportunities for love and pleasure. So enjoy. And then Mars visits your sign from December 10th through the end of the year. You'll be passionate about your beliefs and what you want to accomplish. He'll give you positive support in January and in June but he will challenge you to be flexible and kind in March and August. So use wisdom at those times. Jupiter, the planet of opportunity, and Saturn, the planet of limitation, are friendly in 2017. Scorpio, Jupiter transits Libra through October and your 12th house of spirituality, bringing opportunities for inner growth. You must seek the depth of your being. You must heal old wounds so you can prepare for the future, for success may be just around the corner. Now, Jupiter will oppose Uranus at the beginning of March and the end of September, so you can expect some unusual life transitions. Saturn transits your second house of resources all year. You must understand the substance of your being. You earn money by exercising your talents and abilities. Now you must improve your effectiveness so you can attract exactly what you need and value in life. Now Saturn will try Uranus in November, giving you a new sense of personal efficiency. Before going on to Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, I'd like to remind you that you can learn how to develop your own psychic and spiritual abilities. Just order a copy of my book, The Art of the Mystic. It's on ProfessorAstrology.com. Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto bring more rewards in 2017. Scorpio, Uranus transiting your sixth house of daily routines continues to give you the energy to break free from boring work responsibilities. You'll feel much more creative. Neptune brings his subtle and creative energy to your fifth house of pleasure. Woo! He inspires you to be more creative and more romantic. Woo! Now, Pluto in your third house of intellect helps you express yourself more fully by communicating with depth, power, and meaning. Now these were just general predictions based on your sun sign. If you'd like more accurate predictions based on your time, date, and place of birth, just go to my website, 
professorastrology.com and there you'll go to the personal services page and you can order a transit chart which will tell you what's coming for you for the next 12 months. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. Please share these videos with your friends because they're free. And I hope you have a fabulous new year.